guys and welcome back to the redstone let's build if you remember last time uh, we already had our door in our flush door there's a tutorial on that now we had our sliding door I might have a tutorial on that we have our piston corridor which there is a tutorial on now and then we we added our next thing we added our combination lock so if we push our button it should open and we're into our temple. Today we're going to be doing some things in the temple. We're going to add some sort of door right here. So I'm going to head over to MC Edit. I'm going to import schematic. I'll show you the schematic. I'm going to cut. Well, I'll show you the build. Then I'll get a schematic of it. Then I'll import it into the world. I'll see you at the redstone build, guys. Okay, guys. So this is the design we're going to be implementing. I have made a slight change to it. So, uh, glowstone. Basically, this block in the center is not going to move. It's going to be a glowstone block. And that's pretty much the only change I've made. This is a 3x3 three three hidden spiral door. We'll flick our lever. It spirals away and it spirals back in. However, we are not going to have the middle block being pulled away. We're just going to have a glowstone block there. I'm going to import that in. And, by the way, if you haven't seen this before, this is my redstone testing world. It's not loading in because there is a lot of redstone, and th this is the beast. We we may import that at some point, but for now, before we get into any of that stuff, we're very simply going to import this design into our world. I'll see you back there. Hey guys, so there has been a few minor changes to the temple and the way the trapdoor works. So we're going to come down our corridor as normal, flick our button walk through our door get stuck in it which yeah walk through our door and as you see here we have imported our trap door or rather i have imported my trap door and um the only significant difference is this is now the center this originally was not the center as you can probably tell from this i have not actually finished sorting it out it should be something like this uh something like this because i've had to move it because otherwise it wouldn't fit and that would not have been good whatsoever so this is currently our design i will fix the up bit of hair off camera because you guys don't want to watch me doing that and also this piece of glowstone does not move so whenever i you know, we're going to walk for a step on the press point and it's all going to pull out. But that piston, for some reason, I can honestly find no difference. Even with all the blocks removed, it still does that. This piston does not grab this as it should do. But that is fine because we can just walk forwards and fall down. If I sprint. But we, we can add some sort of tick delay if we want. However, this is the design for the moment. Now, I'm going to think of something to do down at the uh, the four-way intersection, you know, just down here. But I will be back with you when I have decided something for that. As you can see, I've got a little something peeking out of there, trying a few things out. Anyway, guys, I'll see you when I have a finalized design for at least one of these corridors. So, we have a finalized design for at least one of them. I decided to use the system that you saw before. You know, this little sneaky dispenser. I decided to use this again, but we've added something else. It's not just stick it on. So, we're going to walk through here. We're going to get given ourselves a minecart. And, as you can see on the sign, press lever to determine direction of travel. So, as you can see, at the moment, we'll go right along this corridor. But if we want to go left, we can flick our lever and the track will switch. This is very simply a redstone line going down. Here we go. Into an inverter, which I will show you in just a second. We have a signal inverter just under the track that is switching. Yeah, that's patched up properly. We have a signal inverter just here. And when this is off, it faces left. When it's on, it faces right. So that's just something pretty cool. Uh, oops, I just threw my minecart away. Uh, we stick our minecart on the track and go. Now, as I was saying, we stick our minecart on the track and we go. There we go. For some reason it bugged out there. 
and of course we are going to have these uh, these tracks going somewhere this is definitely going to be the same for this side and this side oops I got given it again but I am not entirely sure about the next two sides yet I'm not sure if I want something different here maybe one that just goes straight along I don't know yet but anyway guys I will see you when I've either done one of them or when I've got a design for the other one I'll, I'll explain it at some other point so I thought I would turn the redstone you know like the mirror of this into a time lapse for you guys so I'm gonna do that roll a time lapse Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that little time lapse type thing. As you can see, I have put our tracks slightly further along. I honestly have no idea what's going to go this way. I think I might have something to do with farms. Uh, we might have some sort of... I think it's... I think we'll probably have crop farms this side and animal farms on the other side. To be honest, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. We'll have something like that, some sort of farms. And then the other way storage maybe this way and um i don't even know what this way maybe the exit can be this way uh, i'm not actually sure what's up from here let me check let's hope we're not gonna s we're gonna smash through the base that's not a good idea uh so this this one can't be the exit uh, maybe the other direction can be the exit because if it can't then we're gonna have no exit and that's gonna be really awkward for everybody involved um but it seems we're in the desert so yeah we could we could come out here we could have some sort of elevator i'm thinking uh yeah yeah this is gonna be our exit we could we could have a tnt cannon inspired by mr mumbo jumbo credit to him if you haven't seen him i put a link to his channel in the ooh, what must have been in the first episode actually of the Redstone Let's Build series. So if you haven't seen him before, go and check him out. He is kind of doing a similar base thing, except he's building like an evil science lab, and mine is more of a base. Uh, mine's more um, don't know how to say this. Mine is more varied. His is mainly focused around evil science, and it was great. But go and check him out if you have not already. He basically his exit was going to be a TNT cannon, but apparently they're broken in 1.8, which is not not good whatsoever. <sighs> so hopefully Mojang will fix that. So let's see. Um, animal farms. Crop farms. What should I call it? What should I call it? Crop farms, wheat farm, food farm, crop farms. That'll have to do. Nope. There. Derpy keyboards. Um, storage, I think this one is. And pff, utility. I think this one will be less practical. Like we might put a shower in or something. Uh, animal farms and then the exit so I am sure that this base is going to be great oh we've, do we've done so much already I don't know how much more we've got left to do in this series but um, I'm sure we can do something else to it we can add more and more redstone we can just make it go nuts nuts with the redstone so, what to do next? 
Do we have time to farm? Hmm. We might have time to crop farm. Well, I will let you know what we're doing in the next jump cut. So for me, it will be a while for you, a couple seconds. So I'll see you after the jump cut. Guys, so unfortunately, I don't really think I have time to build a farm or at least a decent one, you know, getting some decent footage for you with the five minutes that left. So, I am going to leave you with a base tour. And so far, we've made our flush two times two door. We're going to step in here, and I have decided we are not going to need that anymore. We're not going to need that wooden door because we are not going to be able to get through this redstone to make an exit. It's perfectly fine. We're going to have a separate exit. Then we're going to walk through our sliding door. Very, very simple. Very, very easy. Down here to our piston corridor, whoop, 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 which I think looks really cool. This is probably the best uh, looking redstone thing I've made. We've then got a combination lock. Let me flick everything up. I'm going to go four, two, open. Come on. It's going to open up. Very simple sliding door again. And step onto our sliding trap door. And then we're down here, we've got our exit ahead of us, which is going to be either a TNT cannon or an elevator. Most probably a TNT cannon. We'll put an elevator in somewhere else. Um, we have our two minecart tracks leading to the animal farm and the crop farm. Uh, not sure what actual farms we're going to have, but we're gonna, it's certainly going to be good. Uh, we've got our dispensers here. I've taken away the pressure plates just so we can run through easily and not get a minecart every single time. I'll just flip this up, you know. Don't want to cause any more lag than we may already have. And then this way we're going to have some sort of storage and utility thing. I don't know if we're just going to have a big corridor filled with stuff. Or if we're going to have like, I think we're going to have some sort of multi-level thing. So we come in here and we can place blocks in a chest or something. And they will filter down to a lower level. And then um, we've got some sort of sorting system down there probably. So, oop. This is the base so far. Let's run all the way along here to where the exit shall be. It's not going to be there, so I'm going to need to patch that up at some point. Going to be here, we're going to get fired up. Kaboom. So I'm just going to grab ourselves some sand. I'm going to fill this thing in for this last bit of corridor. And that's going to be it for this episode. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, leave a like. If you've got any suggestions for anything else, because I'm sure we can fit other things in as well. If you've got any suggestions for anything else to put in this base or anything else we can do with it, then let me know in the comments. That would be great, guys. But this is the base so far. It's all hidden inside this mountain all the way over to the Desert Temple. And it's probably going to spread out all the way to the savannah and all the way to the Dark Oak Forest. Anyway, guys, thank you again for watching. I'll see you next time.